Hey, welcome to Savage Inc. Studios. I'm your host, Inc. And Hello, everybody. Welcome to Savage Inc. Studios. I'm your host, Inc. And today is a PSA on don't be an asshole to your local public service workers. So, I think a lot of you are, are going to first and foremost probably think, Inc., you're being totally hypocritical. You call yourself an asshole all the time. Yes, that's true. Most people think that I am an asshole because I am blunt, I am forward, and I am honest even when people don't want to hear it. That is what makes me an asshole. But I'm respectful to public service workers. I appreciate what they do. I know it's not easy work. I know it's a thankless job. All of these types of jobs, you know, bus drivers and coffee makers and the people stocking the shelves at your local grocery store. None of these people are getting paid enough to put up with your, your bullshittery. And I understand that. And I'm nice. To the extent that someone like me can be nice. And I'm not rude, because why? Why be rude, you know? I understand we've all got issues in our life, but the person making your coffee didn't, didn't make the issues in your life. It's not their fault. So, don't be an asshole. That's the PSA for today, guys. Don't be an asshole. So, I'm going to give a couple of examples. For those of you who are familiar or have been keeping up, I was working this really crappy job and I got a new one and it has been a while since I had a job making coffee for people. So I forgot how people act or people are just worse than they used to be. But let me give you a couple of examples of things not to do in your local shops and things not to do to the people who work there. First and foremost, I want to say that if you are getting a service from a place that accepts tips, tip the person that is helping you. I'm talking car washes, I'm talking waitresses, I'm talking coffee makers, I'm talking taxi drivers. Because if it is a place that accepts tips, then there is a very good chance that the people who are helping you are relying on those tips to pay their bills or to get home or to pay for their lunch. It's the right thing to do. If, this, if you go to a place that accepts tips and your person isn't absolutely awful to you, leave a tip. Even a few cents in change is better than nothing because it all adds up. And... For me personally, like, if someone walks in with kids, I automatically don't expect a tip because I understand that children are really expensive. So if you've got kids, like, I can, I can, eh, you know, I get it. You shouldn't not get a coffee because you can't afford to leave a decent tip. But for everybody else, you know, if you've got two cents left over after your order, throw it in the tip cup. It's the right thing to do. I think that an equally annoying thing to people who just order a ton of stuff and then leave no tip and are total jerks is the people, if you go through a drive-thru and you're getting one penny back and you hold up the rest of the line with your hand out waiting for that penny, like, whoever's at the window is going to want to slap you. Just letting you know. That's annoying. Speaking of ordering a ton of things and the drive through my dudes, let me just speak personally for every place with a drive through Here's the assumption. Even places like Burger King, where it is a food place and not a drink place, there is a very, very good chance, no matter where you go, if there's a drive through they have a drive through timer. And there is also a very good chance that if their drive through timer says that they're taking too long to help their customers, the people working can get in a lot of trouble. Like, I remember that from my days at Burger King, where if the drive through timer was too long, then everyone would get write-ups. You are expected to take this person's order, get all of their food made, and out of the window in under two minutes. 
So if you're going to order 50 sandwiches, whether it be from a Burger King or from a coffee place that is primarily coffee but also has food, go inside. Like, if you're going to order more than three things, as far as food goes, being that food takes more time to make, go inside. Do not hold up the drive through waiting for 20 minutes because you decided that you had to have 15 sandwiches and didn't want to get out of your car. Don't do that. Because the people inside have no control over how long it takes because this stuff takes time to make. And there's a good chance that whoever's inside is going to get in a lot of trouble because you decided that you didn't want to get out of your car. That's not cool. Don't do that. Another thing. PSA. Don't be an asshole. You know, if you're gonna go in somewhere and order coffees and you're on your phone, I'm not even saying don't talk on your phone. But I, in in the last couple of weeks, I, I have had people come in on their phones and then look at me like they're annoyed at me that I'm not psychic, that I can't read their damn minds, that they have to, hang on, I have to order a coffee put their phone down like I'm inconveniencing them because they had to interrupt their phone call. Can I get blah, 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 blah? Thanks. And I'm just like, my dude, I didn't ask you to come in here. I didn't ask you to order a coffee. I'm sorry it's inconvenient for you that you have to interrupt your phone call to order your coffee. But don't be a bitch to me because you have to interrupt your phone call. I'd be just as happy if you stayed on your phone and just left. You know? Ugh. That's frustrating. That's really, really annoying. Like, it's a little rude to, like, come in and talk on your phone and, like, try and order while you're talking on the phone. But I get it. People's lives are busy. And you don't know the people behind the counter. So asking for respect, I guess, in this day and age is a lot. But don't act like I'm inconveniencing you because you had to stop talking on the phone to order your damn coffee. We don't have a psychic in the store, you know, who's designated to read the minds of the people who don't feel like talking to us because you're too good for that. Ugh! Frustrating. Frustrating, you guys. So annoying. Another thing, too, as this art piece, by the end, you will see, people do this, and oh my god, I want to break somebody's nose, I swear to god. Someone came in and ordered a coffee and the the total came up to like 260 something i think and this guy reaches into the tip cup and tries to pull out the bills and i grabbed the tip cup and i pulled it back and i'm like what are you doing and he's like oh well i only have a 50 and i don't want to break it and i'm just like flabbergasted like oh are you serious and i told him this is not a leave a penny take a penny or you know take three dollars and also take a coffee and leave nothing and he's like well i i don't want to break my 50 and i'm like dude this is not for customers to buy their coffees you can't take this and he just looked at me like i had offended him and i'm probably looking at him like he has offended me because who reaches into somebody's tip cup to pay for their whole order because they don't want to break the large bill that they have he did end up giving me his 50, and I was just mind-boggled. Like, who does that? And of course he didn't leave a tip. Of course not. And I'm just mind-boggled. Mind-boggled. Oh, what is wrong with people? Who does these things? I wouldn't do these things. I'm one of those suckers who over-tips. That might have something to do with the fact that my mother has on and off throughout her life been a longtime bartender and has taught me, you know, tip your people. If you want good service, tip your people, you know? And so even me being a sucker and over tipping, you know, oh God, I could tell you stories. There was this super fine girl working at this burrito place that I used to frequent years ago. And I would tip her more than my burrito cost because, you know, I'm a sucker, and she was pretty, and she was nice and pretended to be interested in my life. That's a story for another time, though. Who who tries to take money out of a tip cup to pay for their order? Like, fuck you guys. Not you guys personally, but the guys who do stuff like that. Like, who does that? Oh, 
I know that so much of this is repetitive and sounds very messy, but I cannot explain to you guys how frustrating this is, especially considering I am now working at a job that I genuinely enjoy. I like making coffee. The time goes by quickly. It's a fun job. I've got a good crew. It's a good time. And if there weren't asshole customers doing shit like this, I would be blissful in my employment. But assholes gotta ruin everything. Who does these things? It's, it makes me so sad that, that this even has to be a video made, because who does these things, you know? Uh, another thing. If you happen to go to a place that sells, say, coffee and donuts... Don't go in at 6 o'clock in the morning and order four dozen donuts without calling ahead. If you call the day before, they will order extra donuts so that you're not wiping out their entire stock for the day. And then it'll be ready for you when you come in. And they're not going to be panicking, rushing, trying to fill four dozen donut boxes while a line is gathering behind you while you look inconvenienced because it's taking too long. Yeah, don't do that. I cannot tell you how many days I've been working where we have straight up run out of donuts because everyone just decided to come in and order four, five, six dozen donuts without calling ahead. Don't do that. You are ruining the experience for the other people later in the day who want a damn donut. It's rude. I'm trying to think. There's probably a lot more. But I think I'm going to wrap it up now. I'm sure I will have many more stories to come of the crazy, crappy things that people do. So that has been your sketchbook story time for the day. PSA, don't be an asshole. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you know where to put them. And I will see you guys 